We're ranking every McDonald's menu item in the US and the UK. This is the Food Wars tier list. We're going to start by comparing items you can find in both the US and the UK. Firstly, the fries. UK McDonald's fries are not all they're cracked up to be. I've tried the American McDonald's fries and they are better than ours. Harry is correct, our fries are way better. The secret ingredient, chemicals. The issue I have in the UK is that as soon as these come out of the fryer, they get worse and worse and worse. You can see how floppy this is. You can't mess with these fries. I don't want to hear nothing about waffle fries. I don't want to hear about seasoned fries, curly fries. This is American food engineering at its finest. These fries are so good. I don't even think they're the best fast food fry in the UK, full stop. C tier. B tier. Right in the middle there. Ugh. You know, at the end of the day, they're fries. Like, okay, you know, not a whole meal. Big Mac. The Big Mac. One of the world's most, if not the world's most iconic hamburger. I thought that the Big Mac in the UK tasted exactly like the Big Mac in the US. I will say there are some pretty big differences in the ingredients list in the US and the UK, but I've tried both, and honestly, the taste is pretty much identical. Man, it's so good we forget that there's that middle piece of bread that's completely useless. I don't know why that's in the middle there. That's such a bizarre thing that they landed on. I will maybe find like a new menu item at McDonald's, order it, it'll be good. But then I leave and I think, I should have just ordered the Big Mac. Is it S tier? I do think there are burgers doing things slightly better. There's a strong A tier burger. Right, it's like creeping up in the S zone. Next up, we got the Quarter Pounder with cheese. I'm gonna say this a lot with McDonald's, but this is another iconic burger. But an actual quarter pound of beef for a burger like this, I think is the perfect amount. This is an A-tier burger, but not as good as the Big Mac, so I will tuck it just down here. It's gonna be my first entry into S-tier, the God level. S-tier, yeah! What does S mean? Why is S-tier the top? Do we know what S stands for? Next up is the double quarter pounder with cheese. Not the half pounder, the double quarter. There's gonna be a bit of a theme here as well, where basically a lot of the McDonald's menu items are the same thing, but just with a changed ratio. So literally all they've done here is add one extra beef patty. Increase the meat, increase the cheese. Those are the rules. The amount of chewing that that requires might give you some indication as to where I'm gonna put this. I like meat. This isn't a complaint on too much meat. It's just, it's like, ugh. I get two quarter pounders instead of them doing this double thing. Yeah, ultimately I think it's just a worse mouthful and a worse burger. So I, I'm gonna put it below the single quarter pounder. In B tier. A little generous with the Photoshop there, guys. Uh, and even like it's not as good as the fries, so I'm gonna put it down there. The McDonald's hamburger. That's got cheese on it. Uh, it's so tiny, it's so basic, and I'm sorry, it's just so boring. I would never get one of these. So I think it's gonna have to be, sadly, a C tip burger. Meat, ketchup and mustard, a pickle, very sweet bread. This is for little kids. And I ain't a little kid. Ba bam the first D, ooh! Next up we have the cheeseburger. Throw a little cheese on that bad boy and that's yeah, a different story. I do think that for me the addition of the cheese does elevate it a little bit. I don't know. I'm feeling generous. I think I'll give it a B, but again, it's gonna go a leg down here. I do think it's slightly better than the hamburger. So again, I think that's probably a B tier burger for me. Next up, we have the double cheeseburger. When I talk about ratios, when I talk about mouthfeel, I think pound for pound, this might be the best burger in the world. <laughs> oh. Harry, my man, this isn't the best burger on this table. I mean that because you can walk into a McDonald's, you can get one of these for around £1.99. And there's something about it that for me hits the exact spot I want a burger to hit. Listen to him talk about it like that. In the delicate balancing act of burger ratios, something about the McDonald's double cheeseburger has just absolutely nailed it. So for me, it's the first entry Best in S2. Yeah. Hey, it's kind of selling me on the... Uh... And the double cheeseburger. I'm like, yeah, actually, it's a good uh, session burger, we'll say. You know, it could do, can eat a lot of them, and it does have a nice, consistent taste to it, or consistent 
mouthfeel. It's a weird thing to keep saying, but best burger in the world. It's a little, you're kind of overselling it there, my man. Here are some chicken and fish options that you can find in both the US and the UK. This is a relatively new addition to the UK menu. I think it's only been on the menu for a year or so, but it's our version of a crispy chicken sandwich. This is a good burger. I do like this. It's a crispy chicken breast fillet. It's got the almost like kind of like pretzel bun design with the sesame seeds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the, the sandwich that comes in the wet bag, I'm not quite sure. It's simple, it's great flavor. It's really good chicken breast. I always enjoy it when I have it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one up on the A tier as well. Hey-o. It's gonna be a really strong A tier. I'm gonna put this higher up in A tier rather than further along, just because logistics, you know. What's even better than the McCrispy, in my opinion, is the spicy McCrispy. The first thing forgotten. I love it. It's one of my favorite sandwiches. Now, I have some problems with the McSpicy. On paper, it looks kind of similar to the McCrispy. The bun isn't as fancy. I'm not sure why, but they've just given it a worse bun. Also, I mean, the taste. All it really feels like is that they've taken a sort of chicken patty and just put chili powder on it. So like there's heat to it. No depth of flavor whatsoever. Uh, yeah, the thing you guys got over there, that's not what we got over here, Harry. So next time you're in town, we'll make sure we'll get some spicy McCrispy Sandos. This one for me, it's going S tier, yeah! I've had great spicy chicken sandwiches in the past. This is not one of them. For me, it's our first entry onto D tier. The McChicken sandwich kind of just makes me sad. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Society has progressed beyond the need for the McChicken sandwich. I absolutely love the McChicken. It is essentially a giant chicken nugget with mayo, but chicken nuggets are awesome. <laughs> I genuinely think at this point, the McChicken could be deleted from the UK menu and no one would bat an eyelid, no one would shed a tear. It's our first womp womp. It's an eater burger. Womp womp. I'm really sorry to any McChicken heads out there, but your time is up. I think the McChicken's great. And if you took it off the menu here in the US, I think people would lose their minds. It's firmly a b-boy. Bam! Always good in a pinch. Always good in a pinch. Next up, we have the filet of fish In the UK, we really love our fish finger sandwiches, and this kind of performs that function. It's great. I think on paper, this is like an A-tier burger. However, I have one crucial issue with the filet of fish Have you ever actually opened one of these up and inspected the insides? Because what you'll notice is that you don't get a full slice of cheese. What? I've never looked. Let's find out together. What the hell? What the hell? You only ever, and this isn't a mistake, this is a by design thing, you only ever get half a slice of cheese with the filet of fish It's the same here. It's half a slice of, why is it half a slice of cheese? At least they put mine down the middle. What, what? But something about this just really rattles me. It's like, give me the other half of my slice of cheese. But I think without that, it ends up being like a pretty solid B-tier burger. If you were to ask me leading up to this, what's the filet of fish? I'm like, man, that's one of the best sandwiches they got full stop. But this cheese thing, I'm also that petty. You're going right to the A. Boom. I know it's petty. I'm a petty guy, what can I say? Maybe they thought one slice of cheese was too cheesy? Cheese and a fish, cheese and a fish sandwich does seem kind of strange, right? Most, most fish doesn't have cheese on it. I'm sure some of it does. Please don't bother me with your messages about your favorite cheese and fish combination. I don't care. And last but by no means least in this section, the iconic McDonald's chicken nugget. Uh, yeah, I mean, the nuggets, man. I mean, these nuggets. Mm. Even with no sauce, these things are amazing. I actually found the US breading to be kind of weird. It was more of like a casing rather than this, whereas this is actually breaded chicken. No. I just gave up on life. I'm like, look, I'm just gonna eat until I drop dead. I probably would have a steady stream of nuggets every day. It's an S tier. S tier, yeah! Gotta agree with my man Harry on this one. Yeah. 
struggle. S tier. Come on. I got nothing in C. Only one thing in D and nothing in E. Should I just be harsher? I don't know what's going on here. I don't. I just really like McDonald's. I guess. Yeah, I guess I'm surprised to see the McChicken that high up, given where I put mine. But to each their own. At least we agree on the nuggets. Here are some breakfast items we can find in both the US and the UK. We're starting very simple with just an egg and cheese McMuffin. Our egg McMuffin, gotta point this out, has a Canadian bacon. It's just a bit basic. And for me, there are way better options on the breakfast menu. So I think for me, that's like a fairly low C tier. Look, when this first came out, it was like, a miracle. Oh my God. I don't think the term breakfast sandwich is even something that people even used frequently. But since then, they've done so much better things with breakfast that as classic as you are, you go and see. Speaking of better options, sausage and egg McMuffin. Immediate improvement. You still get the cheese as well. Don't stick sausage in here and think like, oh wow, it's such a better sandwich. I mean, you know what it is? You know what I'm realizing it is? The thing I like the least about these sandwiches is the muffin part. It's just really dry and dusty. For those who love the sausage and egg McMuffin, don't be too annoyed because more to come later on this. But for me, that's like a, a pretty strong A tier burger. With that, it still is dry, dense, a lot of bread, not a lot of flavor. So I'm gonna put this also in the C tier, a little bit lower than the egg McMuffin. Next up, we have pancakes and syrup. I couldn't tell you the last time I ordered this, probably like when I was a kid. You're not gonna believe this. They didn't give us any syrup or any butter. Ugh. I mean, their pancakes are almost like so spongy, yet so hard to pull apart that. Wow. A little bit. Yeah, I said a little bit thick and dense. That's very thick and dense. Impossible to chew dry. Impossible to chew dry. I just don't think any pancake should be that chewy. <laughs> Bam! I think they're D tier for me. And then obviously we have pancakes with sausage. I don't think a su one sausage patty is enough to redeem that. So for me, that can just join its buddy down there in D tier. I like the sausage just fine, but still, booyah. Sorry, pancake lovers. The good news is we are ending on a high with the McDonald's hash brown. These are phenomenal. Some of the best hash browns probably in the world, I would say. I'm dishing out some, I'm dishing out some high praise to McDonald's, but I love it. It's great. When I get McDonald's breakfast, I'm just as much looking forward to this as in the sandwich. I mean, this bag, it seems like a no brainer. We do this while you're driving, right? Going to work, champing on one of these. Forget it. On the train, got your hand in the thing. Chomp, chomp, chomp. For me, it's an important part of the breakfast order. It's not the main event of the breakfast order. So I don't think it's gonna be like an S tier, but I feel pretty confident in putting McDonald's hash browns as like a solid mid to high A tier. Yes, it's not a meal, but it's sometimes the best part of a McDonald's breakfast. So for that, it's going to the S. S Booyah! The sausage McMuffin, Harry, I'm sorry, but the sausage and egg muffin, A, get real, bro. I get real. <laughs> Mate, stop here. eating. I feel like I'm yeah. watching a mukbang. <laughs> These actually have like, they actually have like a weirdly satisfying texture. You just said you hated the texture. We also wanted to compare a couple of shared dessert options. We have the Oreo McFlurry. It's creamy, but like quite fluffy at the same time. And it's green for some reason. Right? That's green. Oh, it's March and Shamrock Shake stuff. Which actually is very good. <laughs> Oreo, McFlurry, fine, but uh, make it Irish, I guess. Make it green. Feeling a solid B up here, maybe. Yeah, B's filling up. We have to start overlapping because we are running out of space. Americans, take note. We in the UK still fry our apple pies and they are so good. They are delicious. The pastry is so crispy. The filling is sweet and tart and delicious. I do agree, fried's probably better. Yeah, I'm gonna, you know what? 
I'm gonna put in the C, C level. Fried apple pies, incredible, easy, easy S tip. S -tier, yeah. Next up, it's time for sauce talk, and that means sauce board. <laughs> We got the little guy here. Sauce talk with a tiny board. Tiny board. We thought it was slightly weird to put sauces next to actual food items, but we still wanted to talk about them, so tiny board. Tiny board. Tiny board. First up, we have ketchup, which, you know, it's a good sauce, a nice beater. Let's power through these sauces real quick, starting off with ketchup. It's an A tier. We have our sweet and sour dip. A tier sauce. Mustard. I'll put, I'll put a little ketchup and mustard on the same tier. I'm just realizing I have really no strong opinions about sauces here. We have our sweet curry sauce. British people, we love our curry. This for me is a sensational sauce. Mayonnaise, I like mayo on stuff, but I definitely don't like dip my fries in or anything, so mayo's fine. <laughs> just straight up mayo, yeah, sure, sure. We'll put, you know, why not? Let's put mayo B. A little too fattening for me. Now we have two barbecue sauce options in the UK. This one is just our standard barbecue dip. It's a little bit sweet for my liking. Sweet and sour, yeah. It's just sweet and, those are two flavors, but what is it made up of, right? Is it supposed to be a certain fruit or something that's like sour? Do we know? Whatever it is, it's great. Sweet and sour, come on, S tier. Well, I'm dipping my nugs in the sweet and sour. Then we have a few slightly fancier sauce options here in the UK. You have to pay for these, whereas these ones are free. I do think, broadly speaking, you are getting quality for your money. So I think for me, the smoky barbecue is probably like a nice B tier sauce. Honey mustard? No! I'm gonna go sunny mustard, D tier. But honey, on the other hand, I mean, shout out to the bees and possibly hornets that make the honey. I don't know, I know bees make honey. Do other, do hornets and wasps make honey as well? No, they don't do that. Shout out to bees and only bees. My honey's, everything's good with honey. The sour cream and chive dip. This one is really good, pairs well with a lot of things on the menu. Again, particularly like chicken dippers or chicken tenders, but also with the fries, kind of with anything, like even just dunk a bit of your beef burger in that and you'll have a good time. So. <laughs> so I'm gonna give this the first kind of like hybrid ranking of the day. I think that's somewhere between S and A tier for me. This country is obsessed with ranch. It's, I don't know, mayo with onion powder in it, I guess. God, what would I use ranch on on a McDonald's menu? Nuggets? No. Ranch to see. It's a C. Spicy buffalo, though. Yeah. That's also gonna be a, a B list, or an A list, excuse me. Mm. And then last but not least, with the premium dips, we have a sweet chili dip option. It's really great. Brits, again, sweet chili dip is something that we just really seem to love as a country. A tier sauce. I don't know what region of barbecue the McDonald's barbecue is aiming for. It might be my go-to. For dipping my nugs. We're gonna put that firmly in the S tier. McDonald's doesn't really seem to miss with its sauces. I think the worst one is barbecue, but then even then you have a better barbecue sauce that is actually really tasty. So I will say one request. And I don't know why they don't do this. Why is there no mayo on the McDonald's menu? I've tried the American sauces and none of them really jumped out to me, but I think Joe had some pretty strong reactions to the UK ones. So Joe, do you want to try these again? Ah, thank you, Harold. You guys for sauces. Look at this cups compared to what we have. Curry dip, I think this was something from exchange. I'm like, man, they need to, they need to have this in the US. Ooh, UK. This is, uh, this is very good. Yeah. We got nothing like this at McDonald's, or even most fast food in America. The sweet curry dip might be your best dip, UK. Uh, but yeah, love the UK sauces. You guys, your McDonald's sauces are very good. Thanks, Harry. Now we're onto the exclusives, which are things that you can only find in the US or the UK. And we'll start with the burgers. Now, unfortunately, they forgot it today, but on the UK menu, we have a triple cheeseburger option. I think this one overdoes it. Yeah, I think you get a bit of a bell curve with the single and the triple. So you start off with the single, doubles the peak, and then you go back down. This actually, I think, goes into B tier. The quarter pounder with cheese with bacon. I mean, look, this bacon's just falling out of this thing. Adding bacon to it makes it even more fantastic. Gonna be putting it in the S tier. Let's S -tier, go. Yeah. I mean, of course, right? We also have a bacon double cheeseburger. 
Now, Joe has had a lot of strong opinions on UK fast food bacon over the years, and I gotta say, I kind of agree with him. You're maybe not getting that kind of like quite as rich red color as you're used to in the US. Also, just texturally, it's cut very thin and it does go quite floppy. I will say the flavor is pretty good. In the UK, we smoke our bacon with beech wood. Again, I think this is probably B tier, although a slightly higher B tier than some of the others there. It's still a good burger. Sticking with the quarter pounder with cheeses, this one is a quarter pounder with cheese deluxe. And no, it betrays the core concept of the quarter pounder with cheese. I'm gonna be putting this low B. Still a quarter pounder with cheese, which is fantastic, but all this junk in here, I don't want this. The McPlant. It was pretty big news when this dropped on the UK menus around a year or two ago. They claim that was because they didn't really like any of the other options on the market, so they actually spent quite a long time developing the burger and also the cheese on it as well, the vegan cheese. I'm actually not 100% sure where to rate this one. I'm gonna give it a quick try. I do think it does a good job, honestly. Like As far as fast food veggie options go, there is definitely like something missing. It does miss a bit of flavor. I don't like the fact that they put tomato in that. They don't really do that with many burgers on the UK menu. All in all, I think the McPlant is probably like, I'd say probably like a, a middling, strong B tier burger. I actually think removing the tomato would push that maybe into like a low A tier. Something that I am a little bit perplexed by, the McDouble. From what I can tell, this is a double cheeseburger with less cheese. I, 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 right, a, a nuance that I didn't think people wanted. Am I getting this correctly here? Uh, however, we've discovered today, at least I've discovered today, that they're doing half the cheese on filet -O fish so maybe cheese is more expensive than we thought, and they're just looking to save cheese where they can. You know, I was gonna do B, but actually I'm putting it down to C. I never want less cheese. I'm never concerned with the cheese amount of anything I'm eating, certainly at McDonald's. Then we have the Veggie Deluxe. I don't know what is deluxe about this burger, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> but you have a bun, lettuce, mayo, and then two of their veggie dippers. These are terrible. <laughs> These really suck. It's like a few different beans and vegetables and herbs mixed up with like a pesto type sauce. It's another eater. I'm sorry to the vegetable deluxe. Actually, I'm not very sorry, it's bad. Here are the chicken options you'll find in the UK, but not in the US. Starting with the humble mayo chicken. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I think the muck chicken is kind of pointless. I think partly that is because we have a mayo chicken on the menu, which does exactly the same thing. I still don't think it's a great sandwich. It's very much like, I might get this in addition to my meal if I'm really hungry. So I think for that reason, it's like a, a middle C tier. You can also get a mayo chicken with bacon. In the case of the mayo chicken, paying the extra like 20, 30p for bacon is actually kind of worth it. I'm tempted to go B tier, but I think that would be overrating it. I think that might be like a, a B slash C. We only have two exclusive chicken menu items compared to the UK, and actually they are just deluxe versions of the McCrispy options. This one they went ahead and added just a ridiculous amount of lettuce and mayo. Do I hate vegetables so much that I'd put in the C tier? Uh, I guess I could B tier it. Useless veggies. And again, they did it to my boy, the McCrispy. All right, so at least we got the McCrispy Deluxe. So let me confirm this is great. I confirm my stance. The spicy McCrispy is fantastic. Oh boy. Well, we put junk on it. I think by virtue just adding a lot of lettuce and tomato to a sandwich that doesn't need it, automatically bumps it down one tier, one whole tier. So that one. Next up we have chicken selects. One benefit of ordering these is that they come with the fancy dips kind of included. As far as chicken options go, isn't quite as comforting or as iconic as a chicken nugget, so they're not gonna be S tier for me, but I do feel pretty comfortable putting these in A tier. Then in the UK, we have chicken wrap options. We have a sweet chili chicken wrap. I'm gonna try them all before I put them on the board. I think of the three, 
My favorite is probably the Caesar. I still think that's only gonna be a C tier. The sweet chili, which can also go into C tier. For me, the barbecue wrap is down in D tier. And for the vegetarians, we also have a wrap option. It's the veggie dippers. And you know how I feel about those. A nice E tier there. Yep, yep. We also have two salad options here in the UK. Yep, yep. I've never seen anyone order either of these in my entire life. Why are they still on the menu? One more thing to note is that with all of the chicken options, instead of crispy, you can opt for grilled chicken. If you do that, just see where I've ranked the crispy options and lower them all by two stages. So it's like somewhere like down here below the table for the salads. Here are the sides you'll find in the UK, but not in the US. Depending on the season, there's usually some kind of fried cheese option. Right now, the ones that we have are these cheesy garlic bites. They don't smell super garlicky. Probably gonna be like C tier for me. Pineapple stick. This has kind of become like the default Happy Meal side. When I was younger, I used to get like an apple slices and grapes fruit bag, but it seems to have been replaced with pineapple, which I think it's kind of an upgrade. I like pineapple, it's tasty. <laughs> a decent B tier, actually. You put pineapple above fries. <laughs> yeah, I think the way that they've executed the pineapple versus the way they execute fries. Yeah, I stand by that. Uh, exclusive sides in the US. I am surprised to learn we only have one. Apple slices. I gotta judge apple slices. It's taking something that grows on a tree, cutting it up, and sticking it in a plastic bag. Here's the thing about this. They're apple slices. They're nice, they're sweet, they taste like apples. How's that for insight? Um, I just don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't know. I don't care about apple slices. Ah, we'll go D. <laughs> That's right, apples. Nice try, come back when you're covered in cheese. Then we have a side salad, which just, it just, it's just sad. It just makes me sad. I love the fact that with the side salad, they've literally just given like one piece of tomato. It's another eater. A bit of a theme here. I promise I'm not deliberately targeting the veggie options. I think they just executed them really badly. Pineapple's veggie and I put that high. The veggie dippers, they're back again. They're mushy, but also like a bit grainy. They're kind of like the filling is this kind of like veggie paste and it's just, does not feel good in your mouth. In a sort of like peace offering to the veggie dippers. On their own, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them in like D tier. They're still quite low D tier. But with the caveat that you get them fresh out the fryer and you drown them in curry sauce, they actually might be okay. Here are the exclusive breakfast items from the UK. I'm gonna kind of speed through these because ultimately they are just different combinations of cheese, egg, bacon, sausage, and bread. First up, we have the Mighty Muffin. This is a fairly new addition actually to the menu, but it's basically just all of the things on a muffin. So you get sausage, bacon, and an egg. I think this is really good. I like not having to choose between sausage and bacon. Sometimes you just want both and that's fine. For me, the Mighty Muffin is actually gonna go into Ata. We got the biscuit sandwiches and my boys, the McRiddles. It's all the way down at the end here is the bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. Let's get a look at that right there, huh? Let's get a look at that right there. It's a lot lighter than it looks. This looks dense, but it's actually a bit pillowy. And I, you know, I love McDonald's bacon. Their bacon and a sausage is fantastic. Taste-wise, fantastic. But the dry biscuit delivery system, certainly they can inject something, some sort of moisture into these biscuits, but they haven't. So for that, I'm only gonna give it, only gonna put it in the A tier. Next up, we have the breakfast roll. It's the same ingredients as the Mighty Muffin. So you have the sausage, the bacon, the egg, and the cheese, but this time it's on this floured bread roll instead of an English muffin. I think it's pretty good. I think in general, I prefer the muffins to the rolls at McDonald's. So for me, it's gonna take a slight downgrade. It's gonna be a beta. Now this I, I have an issue with. I do really like McDonald's sausage, but it's just a biscuit and sausage. You have to eat one of these the way that those uh, competitive hot dog eaters eat hot dogs. You really gotta like dip it in water and then just shove it in your mouth in order to eat it at a normal rate because it's just so dry. You'll be chewing this thing 
for hours. I don't like it. It's almost inedible. D, baby, D. Next up, we have the bacon roll. This does exactly what it says in the tin. It's okay. I just don't think that McDonald's does the best bacon. They can be a little bit dry. I think in general, this one's just a bit plain and basic. So I'm actually gonna put it in D tier. If you want a good bacon roll, go to a calf, don't go to McDonald's. And then, one step up, they added egg to this one, which, you know, makes it a little bit easier to eat, a little bit softer. I, I still think with the egg, I mean, that, that's still putting this in a, in a C territory, so. The next two are double options. We have the double bacon and egg McMuffin and a double sausage and egg McMuffin. I'm actually kind of surprised to see these as UK exclusives. I really thought that excess was something that America did well, so I'm surprised that they're not on the US menu. I'm sure maybe if you ask for an extra patty, they would do it for you. But in the UK, these are official menu items. Is double bacon just like two pieces of bacon? Kind of underwhelmed by that, to be honest. Suffering from a similar issue to the bacon roll in that the bacon itself just isn't that good. I think it's actually gonna be C tier, you know? It doesn't really do it for me. I know I was like, oh, I love these, but turns out actually, I only like one of them. Then we move on to the McGriddles. You know them, you love them, I love them. Now the beauty about this is, unlike my pancakes or hotcakes from earlier, this has syrup already in it. So it's nice syrupy pancakes with the bacon, egg, and cheese. Come on, come on. I think this is the best breakfast sandwich McDonald's has to offer. It's going S tier, yeah! However, we're bringing it back with the double sausage and egg McMuffin. This is kind of like the archetypal breakfast sandwich. Nowhere else really does this in the UK. I think McDonald's breakfast in the UK is kind of in a tier of its own compared to other fast food chains. So for me, this is it. This is way up yes, in S tier. Yeah. Someone at the McDonald's organization, I don't know, someone over there is just like, guys, I got an idea. Sausage patty and bread and nothing else. And everyone's like, okay, geez. Of all the only sausage only breakfast sandwich options you get at McDonald's, this is definitely the best one. It makes it, it's the most edible. It's the least dry. If I had to get a sausage sandwich, I would get the McGriddle one. I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna go B. Yeah. Actually, no. I'm going C, but a higher C. It's a higher C than this one. It's, it's almost a B, but not really. A muffin with jam. Exactly what it sounds like. Toasted muffin with some, I think, some butter on there and a little uh, sachet of jam. I think if I wanted a nice sweet or pastry-based breakfast, McDonald's is probably not the place I'm going to. So I think for me, it's gonna be D tier. Cheese and egg, yes, very good. Now we're adding a little bit more of a robust flavor, some variety to my breakfast sandwich. Yeah. That's not as good as the bacon one, but it's pretty close. Give it an A. Flat, oh, where's the cheesy flatbread bullshit? Next up, we have another thing that I'm slightly confused as to why it's still on the menu. It's the cheesy bacon flatbread. There was like a bit of a flatbread craze in the UK quite a while ago now, where I think like flatbreads were seen as quite a good like diet healthy option, but it's just a bit miserable really. Again, I don't think I've ever seen anyone order one of these. I certainly have never ordered one of these. So for me, that's a whiff. And that is going in e -tip. Not done with breakfast, we still have more exclusive items to go through. Starting down here, we got the big breakfast and the big breakfast with hot cakes. I just feel that this whole thing is, is not that great. C tier for all of these. Ooh, here and here. I'm gonna be straight up. There's something about this burrito that they have on the menu. They've had this on the menu forever. I love this thing, and more importantly, don't sleep on McDonald's Mexican style salsa. It is fantastic. I know it's a puree, it's probably mass produced, but low level heat that just accents the flavor. Guys, I love the McDonald's breakfast burrito. I'm gonna put this breakfast burrito S tier, believe it. 
go ahead, go ahead with your comments. I'm not reading them. This thing's fantastic. End of story. And then finally, we have a pretty classic, actually, British breakfast item on the menu at McDonald's. Porridge. Americans, you might know this is oatmeal. You can get it with sugar. You can get it with golden syrup or with jam. This might surprise some people, but I have actually been known to order porridge from McDonald's. Porridge might go B tier, you know? Anyway, yeah, it's oatmeal. And it comes with diced apple, which by the way does have the skin. So clearly they have apples with skin on it. And these cranberries and raisins. Everything with fruit down here. I'm surprised that he put the porridge and the beet tier. I don't know what the difference between that and oatmeal is, but it's like the last thing I'm getting at McDonald's. I don't want it. Could have maybe been E tier, but I'm feeling generous today. I cannot believe you've put the sausage burrito there. It does not look good at all. S tier, really? Come on, man. You're losing our credibility here. What is a Malteser? It's like malt. It's malt. But what is malt? It's malted barley. How does it get that like crunchy, honeycombing texture? Do you know? They tease it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, we have some desserts you'll find in the UK, but not the US. Firstly, we have a couple of McFlurry options. The Dairy Milk McFlurry is actually gonna be, I think, A tier as well. With the Smarty McFlurry, I think they get small versions of Smarties and then kind of like smash them up and then stir them into the ice cream. This is what I would like get if I wanted a dessert from McDonald's as a child. I feel like I've fallen out of love with Smarties a bit, which is kind of sad, but I've grown up. It's a natural consequence of the passage of time. I think probably a C tier. And then our other exclusive is a Maltesers McFlurry. I still don't fully understand what Maltesers are. As far as I'm aware, malt is a thing. <laughs> so you have malt as the flavor, and that's kind of like flavoring a biscuit, and you have the biscuit in the middle, and then it's covered in milk chocolate. They're called Whoppers. Apparently. Whoppers? Mm. What? Malted milk balls. I've never heard of that in my life. Yeah. Apparently in America you have Whoppers, which are similar to this. So I think I'm gonna find some room for this like over here. <laughs> We've really printed these way too big. <laughs> Apparently we have one exclusive McFlurry right here, or it was exclusive before the thing pretty much melted. It is the M&M McFlurry. I'll throw this on the, along with the Ori, I'll put it in the, I'll put in the B tier, I'll put it over here. Then we have a few other dessert options, which also kind of fit under the McCafe brand. We'll start with this one, which is a triple chocolate cookie. A lot of our cookies would be quite brittle, don't have much of a chew to them, but this is actually pretty good. It's good, but I still don't think it's something I would regularly order. We'll squeeze that into B tier as well. They have ice cream, obviously, at uh, McDonald's, including this, the vanilla soft serve cone. Look. I got this food three hours ago. This thing was gonna get destroyed before we got here and I couldn't do it first because we gotta do this in order, so. As classic as it is, I never want this. I never want a vanilla cone. It's boring, it's just vanilla. Eh, boring, get it out of here. Then we have a mixed berry muffin. Not sure which of the berries have been mixed into this exactly. It's got a little like sort of jammy center to it there. Looks pretty good. That looked a lot better than it actually ended up tasting. Yeah, that's not, that's not great. That's a nice detail muffin. Hot fudge sundae? The, I mean, it's the fudge, right? I feel like this hasn't changed in 40 years, however long it's been there. It always, it always tastes the same. I mean, this is the picture they're giving us on the website. It has never looked like this. It's a classic, it's delicious. A tier, A tier for it. But if I was to get a dessert at McDonald's, I'd probably be more inclined to get this than like a McFlurry. I really enjoy this. I'm gonna go ahead and put that S tier. Maybe I'll get it with my yeah. breakfast burger next time. Next up we have a chocolate brownie. I don't think I've ever tried the McDonald's chocolate brownie before. Obviously I know what brownies look like and I know what I want from a good chocolate brownie. And that's not it. <laughs> hmm. E. Bad brownie. Bad brownie. Lastly, they got um, McCafe chocolate chip cookies, right? It's a chocolate chip cookie, I guess. Wouldn't think I'd ever get it. I don't hate it. It's just whatever. Boom. 
And finally, we have this one, which is a toffee apple donut. Pleasantly surprised by that. You actually get this like apple sauce kind of piped throughout the donut, which is quite nice. The icing is very sweet, it's a toffee icing. It's not amazing, but we'll squeeze that into C tier, I think. I think overall I'm pretty happy with my rankings. I've been pretty selective with S tier, but I think you're supposed to be, you know? I only want to reserve that for the best of the best. The division between the S tier and the A tier, for me, now that I look at it like this, is a little surprising. I know it's opinion-based, and I was just taking a bite of each thing, one after the other, which is not how you eat at McDonald's. More likely when you go to a place like McDonald's is, I'm hungry and I'm in the mood for blank. I have put a few things in the D and E tier. Obviously, a few of these are the kind of veggie or salad options, which I think just in general, fast food chains do struggle with, so I think that's to be expected. I didn't realize till now that I didn't do anything in E, so that's to say that there's nothing in the McDonald's menu that I absolutely hate or would never want to try. Everything is at least just okay. As far as my tastes are concerned, McDonald's has something at every tier, which is, I think, a reflection of a good, well-balanced menu. I don't mean well-balanced as far as nu nutrition and health. There's literally something for everyone. I know there's gonna be a lot of you out there who disagree with me on this, so I wanna hear it. Let me know in the comments if you think I've rated things too harshly or too highly. I wanna know what you think is my worst take, what did I do, and where would you put it? And yeah, but overall, I'm pretty happy with this. Tier list has been popular for a while. I'm sure most of you are watching this being like, tier lists, why now? Why not? 